So now in the last session we learned about how to load data from our flat file to a flat file using Oracle Data Integrator tool. Now in this session we are going to learn about loading a flat file data to a Oracle database table using ODI. How we will load. Okay. So create first thing is like we need to create a project ODI project and exporting a flat file to the relational database management system and we need to create a project and an interface to export data from source flat file and to perform some transformations and to load it into RDBMS table. Here for working with that what are the first things we need to do is we need to create a project with Oracle Data Integrator. First step is creating project with Oracle Data Integrator. So for this we need to start our we need to start our Oracle Data Integrator tool. So I am going to Oracle Data Integrator launching my Oracle Data Integrator Studio. Once Oracle Data Integrator Studio got launched you need to connect to the repository. So we are connecting to the repository. Here I am going to use my first ODA repository. So here once it is connected Next step, we need to create a new project for this. So I am creating a new project. Project name, I want to provide ODI project. Exporting. that file flat file data to relational table that means I am going to export my flat file to relational table code table will be filled automatically when you are typing the name next step what we need to do we need to click on save button save icon which is available once you save it, your project folder will be get saved. Relational to a flat file to a relational table. Once you expand this, this one is going to be expanded. Here, now I want to import here we need to export a flat file directly to a relational table target. The knowledge modules required for this are LKM file to SQL. In this requirement,
LKM file to SQL first knowledge module or loading knowledge module LKM file to SQL and next knowledge module needed is IKM SQL incremental update so here what I am going to do I am going to import these two knowledge modules first knowledge module I am just expanding this I am just checking if there were any knowledge modules are available I don't have any knowledge module available under LKM so first right clicking on knowledge modules going to import knowledge module here select this option and click open what are the knowledge modules are available under XML reference will be already available in the drop down list here I am selecting LKM under this LKM I want to import LKM file to SQL so we need to select LKM file to SQL and next knowledge module I want to import IKM integration knowledge module IKM SQL incremental update next I will go to IKM For file we selected IKM SQL to file append. Now we are selecting SQL incremental update. That means from file to database we are loading, we are selecting SQL incremental update. Here once we select import will be in progress. And it is going to show you what are the knowledge modules are getting imported into your file to relational table project so these are the two knowledge modules which we are getting imported one is LKM file to SQL and next file to SQL means it is going to load the data from your source file to your staging area and from staging area I am going to increment my SQL to update it into the file into the database so click close this one will be available now you can see under LKM you have LKM knowledge module and next under the IKM you can see this one these are the two knowledge modules we imported here and what is the next step we need to do here is Here in this example normally we used a generic knowledge modules, SQL knowledge modules. But in real time when we are using any RTBMS technology you can use specific knowledge module which is related to your RTBMS. So here whatever the knowledge modules we imported it will be available under the drop down list of your knowledge module specification. So here next step what we need to create is we need to create a relational database schema for ODAE target data store so first next step after importing the knowledge modules first is creating a project next importing the knowledge modules next step is we need to create RDBMS schema for ODA data target data store
So here we are going to create RDBMS schema for ODI target data store. So how we are going to create? You need to create a schema to the host of your ODI database target store. So for that like first we will create a, a schema under our database for that. we need to log into your database let me check if my database is available Let me create a user. So I want to create a user. Let me create an user ODI. I think already existing, this user is already existing. Yes. So let me log in directly into. Uh, let me provide some grant privileges here. Now I am logging into my ODI user. Here, once it is done, so our ODI user is readily available. Okay, so we have a source table available in our flat file. Now we have a uh, database created with ODI. To load the target so here what I am trying to do next step is we need to create a table here okay so I want to create a table that I am creating here as create table target sales person
we are defining primary key So here table is created. So this is how we can create a table here. Create table, target salesperson, salesperson ID, first name, last name, and uh, date hired, date updated, date not null. Okay. And uh, after creating this table, now we need to create a new ODAE target data server and a fiscal schema. Next step is So where we are going to create a fiscal schema is under topology we will create a fiscal scheme because fiscal and logical schema structures will be available there. Okay. For this what I am doing I am going to my topology here. I am expanding my fiscal structures. Now I am creating after we create a new database to target store we need to create new ODA target data server and the fiscal schema to create the ODA target data server and a fiscal schema we need to follow this following steps like whatever I am doing here on my screen we need to follow that in ODA you open our topology manager next navigator uh, topology navigator go to topology navigator and next select the physical architecture tab expand the technologies and right click on oracle and select new data server right click on oracle and select new data server so here just provide the value names whichever i am providing here in the data server i am providing this one as ODI okay. and username ODI password is ODI once you provide this next you go to JDBC connection here you select the JDBC driver You will have one example next you need to select the JDBC URL which is related to your Oracle. So here we need to provide our host name, port name and IP address. 
so I am providing here local host as my local host is the host name default host which comes for my oracle database once I install and next is the port number which comes default for my oracle database and next is the ser service name which comes by default okay now once it is done click ok so to test the connections you will have a test connection option here on to the left side top just click on test connection do you want to save it click yes please register at least one physical schema for your data server ok next it will ask you to test local agent click ok test connection will be successful so here we created a data connection from your source system to the database which is having our table which is created we created the target salesperson table under the database right so for that like we created a connection here once it is done click ok and the next step what we need to do we need to expand under our oracle technology we'll have the source which we created now you right click on your ODAE and select new physical schema here you define which com which will show you all your oracle database schemas so we need to select our schema which we are going to connect so in the schema schema and the word schema we will enter your ODA that means the user which we created the user which I created there is the ODA and once you create it click on save button it will ask you no content is specified for this schema please specify the appropriate content to be able to use this schema designer module click OK and next to open your logical structure there we will be defining that okay for that I am clicking on save button I will just click OK I will not design as if no uh, the content next we'll go to the logical structure under the logical structure then I will define that uh, context here under the logical structure now you expand your now you expand your technologies under Oracle technology go to your Oracle technology what we'll do we'll go to new logical schema here we need to specify the logical schema name here I want to specify logical schema as ODA because that is the schema name which I am having now you need to specify here which physical schema you want to connect I want to connect to my ODA schema once you select this one click on save this one will be saved if you go to your in the context automatically you can see ODA logical schema is selected that means which database we are connecting the schema which we are selecting logically that only will be referred to the, your physical schema that's why I ask you not to define here in the uh, when we are designing the physical logical art physical architecture try to define that one when we are designing the logical architecture here you can see ODA and fiscal schemas were selected now what is the next step we need to design next we need to create new ODA target model you 
creating new ODI target model. Why we need to create new ODI target model? Creating a new ODI target model that will be used within our ODI instance. To create a new ODI target model, we will follow the same kind of steps like how I have done uh, this. The steps which I am performing for my file to file transfer, the same kind uh, in a similar way, I am going to create a new model and I am going to create it uh, for my usage of my data load from my uh, source flat file to my target flat file. For that, what I am going to do, I am going to my designer. Under this designer, I am going to models. Under this models, I will select new model. I will give here naming convention. Oracle table RDBMS 1 and technology should be Oracle technology and the schema name should be ODI. Before uh, while doing the file we have selected uh, file right the same way we need to select here Oracle technology logical schema is the schema which we are already having once you select that Next, we will go to reverse engineering. In this, we will click on save button and we will close this tab. Next step is, in the models tab, it will be creating with our Oracle RDBMS. Now we are just right clicking on it. And selecting reverse engineering. After reverse engineering is completed successfully without any errors, you can see here our columns are available. Target table and our columns are available. If you want to view data, if you click view data, data will not be available. Only the column names are available. Reason is as per our requirement, we need to load the source file which is from the flat file which is having a data available there in the flat file of your source system, we need to load it into the target. That's what we want to do it. So here, target file is created and reverse engineering is done. Tables reverse engineering means from database, it is going to load the table structure into your ODI environment. That's how we have done it for creating it for the developer. So, Next step, what we need to do once we create a reverse engineering is, next step, we need to create a new ODIE interface to perform flat file to RTBMS transformation. Creating new ODIE RDBMS transformation. To create new ODI interface to perform the RDBMS transformation, how we are going to do is we are going to create a new interface in our project where we created. 
So flat file to relational database. Here we will expand the first folder under the interfaces. I am just creating an interface, new interface here. Just click on that interface and I am going to provide naming convention that interface exporting flat file to relational table. So here I am exporting flat file to a relational table. Once you select global context it is provided. Now we will go to mapping under the mapping from the flat files I am going to drag and drop my source file into my source system. And next I am going to drag and drop my target into my target sales person. That is target table which is available from here. Which is available from my database that is RDBMS. It will ask you whether it want to make an automation mapping. Okay. Once you drag and drop your target salesperson data source from Oracle RDBMS model into this target, when the designer asks do you want to perform an automatic mapping, click on yes. So that it will do the automatic mapping between the source file system and the target file system database table which you want to connect. And after that here in in this once you are selecting here just select the last option update and here you can see implementation technical description business rules so here here we need to select active mapping and execution should be done on to the staging area. Execution should be done on to the staging area. So we need to select this option. Set the value date updated column in the target data store to system date. This value we need to set to system date because by default it is not available. So here date updated in the implementation tab I will enter this date and and select the
once again I'll create it because I'm getting some errors so I'll create interface flat file to relational data here in the mapping I am going to drag and drop my source text file that is flat file and next I am going to drag and drop my target salesperson select automatic mapping in the last option I am selecting here providing sys data once it is provided I am selecting execution and staging table and active mapping is selected. So I want to execute this one on staging table. So I selected that one as staging table. One second. Once it is done, select the first name column, in the target data store, edit the mapping to read itrim source first dot source dot first name. So first name, I am selecting it. I am giving here option L trim option left trim. and last name also I want to do L trim. I am selecting here last name. Next, I want to do the same one for date hired. Once it is done, Click the flow tab. You can see here source at file generic, the first file. First, we need to select the source appears. Once you select the properties of the source file. Under this, for this LKM, we need to check whether LKM file to SQL is selected. So, LKM file to SQL is readily selected. 
and if it is not selected select from the drop down list if lkm fi file to sql is not selected now we need to ensure that temporary objects created during transformation are deleted set lkm option delete temporary objects to default like uh, delete temporary options will be the automatic option by default it will be available so that option you just make it the same way like what i am doing by default it will be true just leave it like that delete temporary objects as to once it is done click the target store data store check there ikm sql incremental update is available or not this is the one which loads from staging to your target so here once it is available in this options incremental update flow options option flow control to false and set ikm option delete all to true option flow control to false and delete i can delete all option to true so we are doing two changes one is delete all to true and flow control to false once it is done save this one just unlock this lock right click on it lock unlock once it is done just click on execute button local okay session is started we'll go to operator today's date the one which got executed now and we can find here how the load is done so here if we go to step number 12 you can see how many rows of records were inserted into your target table that means our database table before we don't have any data right so let us see how the data looks here here i'm going to my database so you all can see all the data is available from the physical schema from the designer we'll try to check from the models how our data is available now here you can see all the records are available here in our database target database table which we created target sales person this is how we will design a complete project for loading the files from flat file to a relational database model so here what we have done we created multiple uh, scenarios here we created multiple data targets that means like uh, if you have multiple data targets and if you are having multiple source files you can just create it once the data connections between 
the source flat file system and your target RDBMS table is connected and once it is reverse engineered once the connection and the mapping is done flow is done and uh, whatever the knowledge modules are uh, should need to be set everything is set properly automatically data will be loading for the next time if data is added at your source system once you just come here and once you run that one interface automatically it is going to load you everything into your target this is how in using an oracle data integrator project how you using an interface how we can load data from your source flat file to your traditional database management system here these are the steps mandatory steps which we need to follow while creating flat file data to oracle database table not only oracle database depending on your database target you need to select your uh, LKMs like whatever uh, IKMs which you want to load it you need to select to that respective database here first step is creating a project with oracle data integrator importing the knowledge modules knowledge modules once it is imported creating the target files whether the target files are available there or not we need to check and after that we need to create new ODI target data server and a fiscal schema should be available under the topology after that creating new ODI target model should be done for doing the reverse engineering once it is done there the data will be available next creating a new interface under that interface you will be dragging and dropping your source file to your source space and target file to your target space and after designing that next step what we are going to do is we are going to check the mapping whether the mapping and the source as well as the target is having a proper uh, IKM and LKM is available their knowledge modules which you selected during the download in the first step so once it is done then you need to click on execute the interface once it is executed from the operator you are going to monitor once you go to your target and view your data there automatically the source files uh, flat file system which is having the flat file whatever the records are available in your uh, source uh, flat file that is got loaded into your target uh, rdbms table i hope like you all understood how to load a data from a flat file to your target rdbms step using oracle data integrator thank you